Beginning paddlers generally paddle with their knees wide apart and their feet in the water for balance. They use a freestyle action without kicking. It is important that the paddler is in the centre of the board and not in a position too far forward or in a position too far back. Paddlers use alternative arms as though freestyle swimming and kick with the opposite foot. Kicking the legs from the knees will develop an increased arm rating and add power to the stroke. The legs should not go past 60 degrees when kicking and it is best to kick the legs outwards so that they move in a circular path. In the stroke, the hands enter more steeply than in swimming and go as deep as possible, meaning that the head and the chest have to be low to the board. The stroke finishes at about the hips. On the start line, the stance is similar to the standing running start, with the weight on the front foot and the opposite arm back to whichever foot is forward. Athletes start board races by either carrying or dragging their boards. The carry start is normally fastest and is used by the bigger and older athletes. The drag start is usually preferred by the younger athletes and is best on windy days or across long banks. In the carry start, athletes normally run to the water holding the board along their side. As knee deep water approaches, the board is held in two hands and parallel to the water. Athletes should not run further than knee deep water. To mount the board, the athlete will take the last step with the outside leg and lean forward. The feet then drive forward and upward off the bottom as the board is lowered. As the board hits the water, the feet leave the water and the athlete dives onto the board. The aim is to turn running speed into board speed, so it is important that the athlete doesn't run too far and that the feet don't drag in the water. For a drag start, the paddler holds the top handle in a high position to keep the fin out of the sand. On go, the paddler runs to knee deep water, pulls the board forward and dives onto it. It is important to look at the board as you dive on it. Alternatively, the paddler can dive directly onto the board. From knee depth to waist depth, bunny hopping is the fastest way to negotiate a long shallow bank. The hands should be held on both handles, pushing down on the handles with the legs coming out of the water in a bunny hopping fashion. As a wave approaches the paddler, he can then lift the board over the wave and jumping onto the board onto his chest. The bunny hopping action should be done with both feet slightly apart in a bounding action rather than a running through the water action.
Negotiating the brake. Paddlers use three methods to negotiate waves. The first is used for small waves and involves the competitor paddling over the foam. To do this, the paddler points their board at the oncoming wave and arches their back to raise the nose of the board. Then they take a stroke over and into the foam. It is important that they don't stop paddling so as to hit the foam with speed. The second method of negotiating waves, sitting, is used when the broken waves are too big to paddle over. To do this, stop paddling about 1 to 2 metres before the foam hits and go into a sitting position just behind the back handles with the legs over the side. Lean back and pull on one or both of the handles to raise the nose of the board. Just before the foam hits, hold the board between your thighs and move forward with one arm outstretched. Grab the front handle, pushing the front of the board down with the hand and then the chest. Once over the foam, start a stroke and if necessary hold on to the water so as not to get dragged backwards. The third method of negotiating waves, rolling, is used if the waves are too big to sit. To do this, grab the front handles and roll over when the foam is about 2 metres away from the board. While on the water, keep the body parallel to the board and pull the board forward and down as the foam hits. After the wave has passed, let go a front handle with one hand. Slide this hand down the board and grab the middle handle, then push the board over with this hand. Roll over with the board so as to end up lying on it in the paddling position. Notice how the paddler pulls their head back to help get the nose of the board down. Boy turns. Firstly, steering. Always lean out of the turn so that the weight is applied to the opposite side of the board to the turning direction. Secondly, for a sharp turn, the toes of the inside foot can be dragged in the water to assist the turn, and in the turning strokes the arms paddle at an angle to the board. The inside hand starts wide and moves towards the board. Alternatively, the outside hand starts close to the board and moves away. 